All right. So here we are at Zemu. Zemu.app. You're going to go here, and you're going to download for Windows. It's pretty easy. Scroll down a little bit. You have a big compatibility list and a lot of shit. 800 games are playable. They're not perfect. Some of them might not be perfect. So we have some documentation up here. Uh, this shit uh, helps a lot when you're trying to do like FTP and networking. The uh, see required files. You're going to need an MCPX boot image, a BIOS, and a HDD or a, what's it called? A QCAL. So the boot ROM image, I think you can just find that shit out there. You can just Google it. Flash ROM in the BIOS. You can find one out there. And they're recommending Complex 4627. And then you can use a pre-built 8 gigabyte HDD image. Just like if you had an original Xbox. And you can download it right here. Or clone your own if you have a soft modded Xbox. There it is. Image your real Xbox hard drive. Unlock your drive, connect it to a computer, or just drag it to your computer over FTP. But if you're just looking to get started, then just download the, the pre-made uh, Xbox image, Google for the BIOS, Google for the MCPX. Well, now you need games, and you're going to need ISOs, and you're going to have to find them. Unless you have a soft-modded Xbox, you could pull everything off of that, over FTP to your machine, and then use Quicks to package it in an Xbox compatible ISO. Quicks is quick, and it's the shit. This is Quicks. If you want to create an ISO, local folder, let's say you FTP'd something, Ninja Gaiden. So you would just click, you know, your folder, your overarching folder that holds everything. And then hit OK, and then create ISO. And then everything that's in this folder, and if you want to verify it, just jam in your file path. And, you know, this is everything. And if you have a soft-minded Xbox, you can double-check this, and you can see in the file manager that, yeah, this is everything. It's going to package all this in an ISO, and that'll work just fine. Just fine with Zemu. It is awesome. And then this is where you're going to put those required files. So you got your MCPX file right here. This is your HDD, your QCAL. And then this is the BIOS, the Complex 4627. Oh, when you start Zemu, if you're not provided a desired EEPROM image file, a valid EEPROM image will be generated for you. Zemu will make the same EEPROM, I think, for everybody. So it should make like exchanging saves if they're locked pretty easy, but I could be wrong. And then when you're ready, you're going to launch like super crisp dashboard. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to general. I have updates turned off because I updated once and then it screwed up my networking. So I just reverted. So this is where you link to your shit. And, uh, yeah, you can't see it, of course, because I turned off display capture. Motherfucker. And it'll pop up here. And even if you don't have it in the same folder as your emulator, I just I would put it in there just for simplicity's sake. But what are you looking for? Your MCPX. Click on it. Point your emulator to where uh, your shit is. Do the same thing with your BIOS, your hard disk. Your EEPROM should already be good to go because the emulator is supposed to make it for you. And then your necessary required files should be good to go. Networking can be a bit of a pain. Uh, they did redo it. But if you want to do FTP from your emulator, your pretend Xbox, to your PC, which is the same you know, terminal that your emulator is on, then you're going to do enable, NAT, and port forwarding is going to be host port 2121, guest port 21, TCP protocol. And that's really what you, that's that's all you gotta do. FileZilla or what other FTP program you want to use. Zemi is right there. 2121. And the uh, user passwords always Xbox Xbox. 
only use plain FTP. Internal resolution scale, this all depends on your GPU. Uh, I have it, oh my god, this fucking thing. I have it on 6X. Uh, I've had up to 8 before, and it worked out pretty well. <laughs> Full screen, your window size. And uh, so there's that, and now we need to load our, our games, right? Of course, it pops up real goofy-like, and you can't see it. And what are we going to play? What are we going to play? What are we going to play? I have a few things here we could play. Yeah, fuck it. You knew we were going to. You knew. Unfortunately, this is one where I don't really have much of anything. Oh, wait. Did I say you didn't have much of anything? I have some things. I guess I have some things. Just a few things. Just a few silly things. That's that's really it. This is weird playing NGB with a fucking PlayStation controller. But yeah, man, this is this is NGB six X, and it's if I disable preview, I don't know if I can make it any better. Jeez, how high, how can I go even further beyond? Jeez. Yeah, so a thing about Zemu that I've noticed is that when you do something for like the first time, it's gonna take a second. It has to like cache effects or something. Like when it happens for the first time, it's gonna be like, oh what the shit is that? It is stuttering when I do that, so we're gonna see how this fight unfolds. It feels really weird playing this with a PlayStation controller. I do not like it. Damn it, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. So, yeah, you can see it's struggling a little bit because, well, it hasn't hasn't, um, like, you know, had to render those effects before. So once it gets out of the way, it's usually pretty good about it. But this shit is just, it looks just way better than it's ever looked before. one is Ninja of the Future. But I have different costumes on some of these. Oh! This is a weird save! Because I definitely thought I was loading something else and not this. Oh, shit! What? What the fuck? Oh, God. Yep, this is a very weird save. Ow! Stop! What is this? Oh. 
Whoa. Okay. All right. Well, sometimes, uh, sometimes shit happens. Motherfucker.